Hi you guys, so today we're going to be reviewing the new Fashionista Barbies 2016. It's the black girl with the really curly tight little fro thing. We're going to see what she really looks like versus the airbrush um, shots I have her. I will show her to you the, the purple hair doll with the um, sleep bob and the kind of jersey, you know, dress with the stripes and stuff. So I ordered her from Mattel.com. So it's Mattel.com. They have a website. You don't have to order them from some Barbie website. It's better to order things from the manufacturer. So I have them right here. They shipped her UPS. And it was free shipping and handling. I ordered like the Boho doll too. But she hasn't come in yet because she's not in stock. But they gave me free shipping and handling. And I'm going to be opening her the same time as you are. So I'm very excited. They were not very expensive too. Like $7, $14. Like both of them, so with free shipping and handling, which is awesome. So if you live in the Los Angeles area, y'all have a Mattel store down there, which I'm so jealous. So I've seen the lady, um, Denisa, who does all the reroutes and stuff like that, the really popular lady. She um goes there all the time. So yes, and this is the Barbies. I'm so excited. Go ahead first. Ooh, she pretty. She's so pretty. Okay, so this, this is a black girl. The black girl has a headband, and then she's got the fro behind it. Look, this is a black girl, and she's a tall doll. She is a tall doll. See how weird that is? Look, look, look. I'm gonna definitely open her so you can see, like the, like you see, headband. This is the black girl right here that, that they've been advertising and stuff like that. So you'll be able to see out the box. She's got some little kind of boot things right here. She's really tall, kind of florally top, and very cute. So hopefully you can see that. You can see though it's slick and then she's like got a little ponytail. So she's not a full afro doll. And this is the purple hair doll right here. And this will be the it as far as collecting these dolls. I ordered the boho doll so it should be coming in. Ooh, Lord have mercy. She's got a ton of gel. So this is the purple hair doll, the one that's supposed to be with that sleek bob. She has a ton of gunk in here. Look, 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 look. It's like the wet look. So seriously, like gonky. You see all the gel that's in her hair. She's like rock hard. Do you see that? That is amazing to me. But I still love her because it keeps all her hair nice and neat. Because obviously, I would think it would stick up. So this is the purple hair doll right here. I'm probably gonna get the names right in the um in the title. Hopefully, I'll get this right. So this is this one. I like her. I think she's pretty. Look at that hair though. How much gonk they have. This hair just lay down. So that's a good thing. So which one do you want me to open? I think I'm going to open the purple one first and then I'm going to come right back so that way you can get a good view of her. So stay tuned. Okay, so she did have some kajinkas in the back. I always use the jewelry needle and those pliers to pull them out. It comes out so easy. So let's take a look at this doll. Now this doll is, she is just like gonked like to the max. Like you see all that product in the hair. This is crazy product why wouldn't they do this this is like solid like rock hard plasticky stuff this is crazy you guys but the outfit is really really cute she's got a little elastic I'm so sorry for this to you but she does have an elastic right there everything's very um this is nylon right here this is a really cheapy fabric it's like nylon it's got all these different prints on it let's see if we can get a better view for you guys maybe that yeah that's better okay so she's really cute, very, very adorable, has a lot of gunk in the hair. It's a two-piece outfit too. It's not all one piece, so you can definitely mix and match. Let's see. Yes. See, it's like a um, two-piece outfit, so it's a mix and match. You can take the top off, you can change it, whatever you want to do. These are the boots. Don't know why they come with boots, but they do. Real chunky donkey boot, which is, in my opinion, a little bit strange. Very like chains and just craziness and she's really hollow she reminds me of the um curvy barbie so if you have the curvy barbie with that really light plastic body this is the same exact body the little petite dolls tend to be more of a heavy duty plastic this is the tall doll so she's a tall version of barbie she's not the original body but nonetheless she is adorable very cute i i'm a little, a little bit iffy about the doll being so gel to the max do you see all this gunk this is insane oh my god very minimal makeup very very pretty though other than that though she has a ton of gunk it's rock hard she does not come with a brush so she's just a basic model doll for about seven bucks 
and you can order her from the Mattel store at Mattel.com. And she's got a full range of motion. She's got that little plastic conjinker inside the head, so she's got that bent arm right here. And she's a tall girl, so she's kind of cool, you know. She could sit and stand just like a regular old Barbie, you know. But she's very, very pretty nonetheless. And I got a good one. Look how pretty that is. That bob, though, cutting is so pristine. And so, like, it's not as angled. I have to say it's more of a straight, narrow bob. Instead of it being in the picture like it had, it was short. And then it came down like this. It's not like that at all. It's, like, angled all the way around pretty much the same length. They tried to imitate it, though, the best that they knew how. But it's pretty much, except for, like, two pieces right here, it's pretty much the same length. So... So this is this one. And this is called, what's her name? I have her name right here. And this is Fashionista. Let's see. Number 18, Va Va Violet. So it's Va Va Violet, Fashionista number 18, if you're looking for her. And it's her name is Va Va Violet. So this is Va Va Violet. And let's take a look at the black girl now next. So stay tuned. She is beautiful, you guys. Her hair is so soft. Okay, let's take a look at the, this black girl. She is adorable. She is a tall doll. That purple one that I just reviewed was a basic model barber, so she does have the standard doll body. This is the this is going to be a tall girl. Now, she does have an elastic around the headband, so it's like a headband right here, and they push all the curls to the back. She does have a ton of kajinkas, about five or six of them in the back, which are stuck to the back of her head, which I'll be taking out later, I'm sure. But she's made of the same cheap material, very hollow plastic, you guys. I just want to make a note of that. But she is very beautiful, nonetheless. And she's got like a little watch. She's got a piece of hair just kind of hanging there. Don't know why, but they had a piece of hair. But I guess it's from the factory. But um, she is a tall girl. She does come with a watch. A little accessory, which I haven't seen. Yeah, she, that, that girl came with a necklace. And this one don't have a necklace, so they gave her a watch. But she is very beautiful, all this mocha skin, very pretty, very beautiful, very, very soft hair, no product whatsoever, so I'm so proud of that, and not having a lot of product in the hair. But you could see, like, is it glued down? It looks like it, huh? I don't know. But you could see, though, like, that they have a clear elastic all the way around, so it's styled that way, so I'm just going to leave it like that, so I think they intend that I'm not doing that for a reason. Okay, so as far as the shirt, though, they have no Velcro in the back whatsoever, which is really stupid because sometimes you want to undress your dolls. So I'm guessing you got to raise her arms up and push it over her head if you want to um, undress her. And this is her um, shorts. So this is actual... Is it denim? Mm, no. It's uh, imitation denim shorts, um, which does Velcro in the back. Um, sloppy seams in the front, very sloppy in my opinion, not... Very. Let's see, is she missing anything? No, she's not, but it's it's like tucked. They did these shorts a little bit sloppy, but let look at it. So, very cute. Very, very cute. But sloppy. I'm just saying. Because I'm not sponsored by Mattel. I'll buy all this on my own. So, I'm not going to say it, it's great if it's not great. These shoes are okay. They're plastic. They have, um, they slip on in the back. Very similar to the other Barbie doll shoes, but the, um, yeah, the white girl has like a slit, a slit all the way down too, so both of them do. But this is the one I was talking to a lady in Walmart today, and she was waiting for this doll to come out. I think she's beautiful. What do you guys think? And she's got a ton of kajingas in the back. She's a little bit... Her head doesn't match her body. Do you see that? Well, I guess it's the camera, maybe. Okay, her, her body is a lot lighter than the head. Do you see that? I hope the camera's picking it up. It looks a little orange on camera, but in person, her body doesn't match her head. That's so weird. It's like a slight difference, so I could see it. But um, in my opinion, it's coming off more of an orangey tone than it's supposed to be. Do you see that? It's just It just looks so weird, though. I don't know. You, you'll be able to see it in person when you do check out these dolls at your local Walmart or Toys R Us, wherever you may see them. Just kind of pay attention to the face and the body, and you can see what I'm talking about. It's a very slight shade of um, this a face is darker than this than the um, body, and it's coming off a little bit orange on camera, but it's not as orange as it is in person. So, but she can bend like that. You know, she's a basic Barbie body. I can't wait till they start releasing the outfits for these dolls. These dolls are gonna be so cute when you get to purchase outfits for them. So I was very very excited about receiving these two dolls. 
And I'll tell you pricing, it was, I have the pricing right here, you guys, so I'll tell you how much these dolls were on the Mattel website. So if you want to purchase these from Mattel, you are more than welcome to. So each doll was $9.99 a piece from, from Mattel.com, and two of them came to $19.98. And the shipping and handling was zero because... It was the thing where you purchased thirty dollars or more, which I added, which I added these two plus the boho doll, which got to free shipping and handling. So it would be like you would be picking them up from the store, except you'd have to wait a week. So, so if you're looking for a certain doll and there's a certain doll that you really want, regardless whether it's a fashion pack or it's the um, it's these two guys right here or it's a different version of Barbie that you're looking for. You can check out Mattel's website because they sell all the dolls that you're waiting for and that booklet is sold on Mattel's website. You can either pre-order them or you can order the ones that's already in stock. They'll have them on there so you can definitely check out Mattel's website, you guys. So, if you like this video, just remember to like and subscribe and you'll see more doll videos. Thanks. Bye-bye.